hello everyone welcome to this particular video uh, today we are working on uh, how parameter function can be attached or can be linked with the excel sheet and make it make it very flexible to change like we do have this particular excel sheet which does consist some uh, parameters length width diameter and thickness and now we will follow uh, with the sketch and let's see how that could be linked with the existing parameters so we're coming back with this cage uh, let's let's define uh, some particular entities let's say I'll, I'll make it 40 by 60 and defining a circle which would be the exact center with this 20 diameter so we do, we do have that particular dimensions you, you can change that one to the expression which will eventually showcase us d9 equals to 40 if I change it to let, let's say parameters you will find out we do have d9 d10 and 11 all right and later on we, we have to specify the thickness as well so so not not worrying about the thickness thickness right now how that could be done uh, so we do have a predefined excel sheet and the dimensions as well specified now let's go ahead and add the link here is a link button you can simply go ahead with that particular location i'm going to the particular location picking up the excel sheet and hit open what will happen that all those dimensions will be linked to that particular uh, parameter sheet uh, by defining the location as well and instead of the simply value you can go ahead and specify the exact no name that of that particular document or that particular excel sheet does have so it is the length so d9 will be length and d10 will be or or or, or this could be our width This could be our length and this should be our bar as in D11. We are missing with the, the four parameter which is thickness. We will gonna add that one uh, in, a, in a moment. As soon as we hit enter, the overall parameter will get updated accordingly. All right. So D9 becomes width, D10 becomes length, and D11 becomes diameter. All right. So let's let's work on it a little bit as uh, we we do how to mention some constraints over there. Excuse me. We have to set some parameters like this and it's ready to go All right. whenever you're changing it it's gonna update accordingly let's say making it fully constrained by simply adding the dimensions from the origin like this and here is your model let's say finish that one and going to the extrude uh, let's say extrude that particular one with the some specific dimensions all right so let it be 10 as of now now going to the parameters back as you can see we have added a new dimension called uh, so not 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 uh, worrying about this origin you can specify it as uh, just to just to recall it or just to uh, just to be specific that you should never a um, mistake on those things so d14 is our latest which we have added the thickness so instead of 10 mm what we can do we can add the thk the short form whatever the information that you have added no 
and this will be your result so whenever you are updating the values let's say I'll, I'll make it a value as an 800 by by 500 diameter could be let's say 200 and thickness could be let's say 200 or 150 and let's save that one so what will happen our model will get update as you can see uh, a little bit highlight appeared over there that means local update is available you can simply go ahead and this will how your model will work so this particular parameter is uh, completely based on the user how much critical critical it will goes as you can see each and every parameters can be uh, manipulate with the existing excel sheet the condition only with the excel sheet it should be normal that means parameter names the dimensions and as in precautionary manner you can specify the units as well otherwise it will take as 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 it is the units so that, that is uh, the today's lesson for how, how we can link the parameters with the excel sheet and make it parameter